The term vivisection is derived from the Latin words vivus meaning alive and sectio meaning cutting. Animals are subjected to this unbelievably brutal practice in the name of so-called science. Jacqueline Dalziol explains why vivisection still occurs. Vivisection has become a kind of umbrella term for animal testing, animal research and animal experimentation. What drives this industry is profit. Uh, vivisection exists because it makes a lot of money. The Australian pharmaceutical industry makes over two billion every single year. If you look at research institutions to hospitals to universities to caging companies to breeding facilities, this exists despite its scientific fallaciousness because there is profit to be made and those who promote vivisection are usually those who have vested financial interests in it. Now, how are these animals kept? Inside laboratories, uh, regardless of whether it's for animal testing or scientific research or medical research, um, animal liberation and animal rights activists in the past have found animals in extremely cramped conditions, animals who have not been given any veterinary care when they've needed it, animals living in squalor in their own feces, in their own vomit. There are contraptions that enable experimenters to experiment on a mother and a baby in the same cage. It's completely horrific. How else do the animals suffer? What happens to animals in laboratories if it were to happen to a dog or a cat outside of these closed doors would elicit the most serious animal cruelty offence charges. Um, animals can be gassed, electrocuted, burned, irradiated. They can be deliberately infected with disease, paralysed, brain damaged. They can be deprived of food and water and this is all legal. I've read that many pharmaceutical drugs have been tested on animals and are later shown to be detrimental to humans. This shows that animal testing isn't an accurate method. Do you agree with this? Yep, definitely. Um, as I was saying earlier, humans and animals have very basic fundamental physical and anatomical genetic differences, which mean that if something passes an animal test, it is not necessarily safe for humans. Vioxx, for example, was withdrawn from the market in 2004. It was an arthritis painkiller. It caused 7,000 deaths and almost 30,000 heart attacks because it had passed animal tests and was then put into the hands of the consumer. This kind of stuff happens all the time. Stop the continual, unconscionable abuse of animals. Please never buy animal tested or derived products and adopt the caring organic vegan diet. If the entire world changes in this loving way, our animal friends will be able to live in peace and tranquility as God intended. We roundly applaud the work of Jacqueline Dalziol and the other members of Animal Liberation for informing the public about the vicious, inhumane abuse and killing of our animal friends. May Animal Liberation's message of compassion and peaceful coexistence with animals move the hearts of everyone. For more about Animal Liberation, please visit www animal-lib.org.au Thank you for your company today on Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Coming up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May all beings on the planet thrive in harmony and love. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash stop dash animal dash cruelty.